Great. Morning, guys. Morning, morning, morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad therein. I am in the Bahamas. I am walking the beach. This place we call paradise. Guys, I want you to just join me today. Somebody needs some encouragement today. Someone needs to know how beautiful a country we have in the Bahamas. Someone needs to know that God is still on the throne. <laughs> yes, and I'm just, I'm just excited to see what God is about to do in this season. Amen. And so we just are here taking in this beach, this wonderful beach that we take for granted. And so today I said, let me go to the beach today. Let me go and do a prayer boost this morning. And let my people know what a beautiful country we live in, guys. Look at this, guys. Look at this. All of this is ours. <laughs> so when you guys come to the Bahamas, when we have a conference again, you're going to get plenty of this. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And so as soon as they give us clearance, because I know many of you want to come to the Bahamas, and you want to experience the Bahamas culture and what have you, and as soon as we get the clearance on things, you'll be able to come. So you'll make it a double vacation. Amen? Sand, sea, and joy, and Holy Ghost at the same time. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that we're getting ready to pray in a second. As the Father today, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring, Father God, everyone on this live that's watching you. God, I ask that you will bless them going in and coming out. God, I ask that you'll make your face to shine upon them. And you'll be gracious unto them, Lord. God, I ask that whatever they've been asking you for. God, I ask that, Father, even that one who's discouraged right now, that needs to know that you are in control. And that you will never leave them nor forsake them. God, I ask that you will just cover them under the feather of your wings. I ask that, God, you will bless them. Father God, to the point where they'll know that it is you. And you will know no matter how it comes up. I was listening to a story a good friend of mine was telling me yesterday. He said, you know, he'd gotten backed up so bad in his mortgage, he wasn't even, he couldn't even tell his wife. All right? And so he was, he was going to sleep and having anxiety, having anxiety attacks every night. And he's saying, God, what happened? Can you imagine that? Your mortgage that, you know, is a couple hundred dollars amount now has gone into res. And you just knowing these people can call you soon to, to initiate proceedings to get you evicted and put it, on, put it on the map. Yet he trusted God. He believed in God. And so he's, he didn't tell his wife nothing. You know, she was sleeping soundly like a baby every night. And he was worrying about this every night. It started to affect his body. It started to, you know, give him stress and anxiety and, and ulcers and what have you. And so... One day his wife went to church. She's an usher in the church and you know, she helps with protocol and all that. And so uh, a minister came up to her and said, listen, the Lord told me I must put $5,000 in your hands. Say, I don't, need, I don't know what it's all about, but I can put $5,000 in your hands. Come see me tomorrow. I'm going to cut you the check. She didn't know what was going on with her husband and the backup of the mortgage. When she told him that, he started to shout and started to skip and started to jump and started to praise the Lord. Then, as she was going to talk to the minister's wife and told the minister's wife the story, she added an extra thousand dollars onto that. So in totality, the six thousand dollars that was in arrears that was going to cause them to lose their hard-earned place they paid for was paid by a miraculous, never late. Never early, always on time, God. God made a way, spoke to that minister, spoke to that person. So I'm saying to you, God is going to speak to someone on your behalf. You think God don't know your business. You think he don't know you're looking for a job. He, he knows it. He sees it. He knows you're looking for that promotion. He sees the wrong. He knows you're looking for that marriage to be restored. He knows you're looking for that husband. He knows it. And if he could speak to a minister who don't know no, nothing, nothing of what's going on, and say, so the Lord said, I must give you $5,000. And then the wife, when she heard it, gave another $1,000. They kept praising God for the whole week. You hear me? 
They kept praising God for a whole week of how good God is. God will do the same thing for you. God is about to blow your mind right now. God is about to cause your face to shine like never before. God is going to cause you to get back in the flow with Him. Things might have been taken. Things might have been lost. But God has your back. Never leave Him. Nor forsake Him. God bless you, man of God. Keep on keeping on for the Lord. No matter what the situation is, He will take you to the next level. You hear me? If you keep your hands in the hands of the Master, I don't care if a thousand come at you. I don't care if Goliaths come after you. You can destroy them. Suddenly they will vanish. Suddenly the enemy will vanish. Suddenly the sickness will vanish. Suddenly the disease will vanish. Suddenly the problem will vanish. God is a miracle working God. And today, God is going to reward about 25 of you with an outstanding miracle. An outstanding blessing. You're going to get this outstanding blessing. And God's going to do this. Because God loves you. And for your obedience to coming on, the Lord's going to bless you going in and coming out. God said he got you covered. You don't have to worry about nothing. You can be the miracle on the way. You can be the call on the way. You can find out that when you look at the email, someone already sent you a check a long time ago. I just was talking to a young lady. She called me the phone. She's a prophet. Remember the last Zoom you told me that God could finish the scholarship for my daughter? She said, well, we just got an email and a call from this big company. They're now giving her $2,500 on top of the scholarship you already got. Every year till she completes the lessons. Every year that'll be sent to her. So now she have a total almost $10,000 in scholarships. And that's just the beginning. More is coming. More is coming, guys. More is coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. More is coming, guys. Thank you, Jesus. Get ready for God to move. Get ready for God to move like never before. He's in the boat. If Christ is in the boat, you can smile at a storm. Someone, you need to hear from God. There's a 911 in the spirit. And God said, I'm opening some doors for you. God said, they try to close the doors on you. They try to boot you out. They even try to get you fired to take bread out of your mouth. The Lord said, I got you covered. The Lord said, I'm working it out. One of you, your car is always breaking down. This car is always breaking down. And it's always giving you problems. God said, I'm going to give you a new car. I'm going to bless you with a new vehicle. God said, I can do anything but fail. Can you believe God? Can you set some amen and hallelujahs up in this place? They can't touch you. Whom God has blessed, no man can curse. They try to curse you out. They try to mess you up. <laughs> but you're still here. COVID can't touch you. Many of you who are listening. God protect you from COVID. He protect you from COVID. And whatever else is coming on this earth. God protect you. Thank you, Jesus. Respect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Blessings. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. So even 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 the guys who were picking up the even the guys who were picking up the, the trash on the beach, they was getting some blessings. They didn't even leave, they were driving the back of me, but they were making too much noise. So guys, I want to tell you right now, pull up your bootstrap. Tighten your belt around your waist. But know that God is about to rock your world. God is about to give you an amazing miracle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And God is saying, get ready. Because the last set of people I told us to, the emails and the calls have been coming through like crazy. As a matter of fact, people have been finding dead rats. Just dead around their property. After the last word I gave, they've been finding rats dead. And their life has taken off. They've sent me the emails and the PMs and DMs of how they were finding dead rats. Rats dead on their property as a result of the word that went forth. The Lord will expose these dead rats. The Lord will expose these things that are gnawing at your success, gnawing at your blessings, eating away at your finances, eating away at the money you have. 
We're holding back the finances. God will release you from this grip of Pharaoh. Are you guys with me? I need to see the thumbs up. I need to see plenty of hearts. Because it is better in the Bahamas. We are the sunny day in the Bahamas. And I'm so happy to be in the Bahamas. I'm so happy to be alive today. If you woke up this morning and you had breath, you had a meal, you had a roof over your head, you had someone to say, hey, you all right? Then you good. Many people in different parts of the world, they can't even say this. They can't say this, guys. They can't say they okay. They can't say they okay. They can't say they okay. But you guys are okay. You guys are doing well. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm under the cabana right now. Just giving God some glory. Giving God some praise. I want to tell you guys that, that God is a, about to shift you in a very unusual way. God's about to bless some of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Get some oil. Anoint your house. There's something else coming, guys. There's something else about to be released. Get your oil. Anoint your house. Anoint yourself before you leave outside. Thank you, Jesus. Get a red ribbon and tie it around your door. That represent the blood. Get a red strip of ribbon and tie it around your door. I'm giving you a prophetic instruction. It seemed crazy. It seemed foolish, right? Don't you worry about that. You get that red ribbon. You tie it around your doorpost. You hear me? And no virus, no bacteria, no robber, whether it be physical or spiritual. I see my nephew there, CJ. Um, I saw him yesterday. Praise God for him. He did, a, he did an excellent job with his campaign. I was so proud of him. Uh, but people, you know, they they weird and they're strange, but we know who really actually won. That's all right. God said, I'm an exposure business. Amen? I'm, a, I'm an exposure business. But he did a good job. I'm proud of him to see how he was marketing the campaigns and all that. So, you know, my, my hat's off to him. I told him that yesterday. That I was very proud of, of the way he handled himself, you know? And so, to God be the glory. Amen? At the end of the day, when God has a position for you, no man can take that away from you. When God is getting ready to bless you, no man can take that away from you. When God is getting ready to elevate you, no man can take that from you, guys. Don't you notice? When God is getting ready to bless you, no man can take that from you. Huh? No man can take that from you. I'm telling you right now, guys. Your blessing is going to locate you. Some of you, you saying, I haven't got, I haven't got food in my fridge. But people see me out here looking good. They see me out here walking around. They see me out here dressed all up, but they don't know that I... I'm one step away from them evicting me. I'm going through hell in my marriage, but we look good on the outside. We look like we got it all together. People envy us in church. They envy us when they see us, but they don't know we fight like cats and dogs. That's because you have an invisible enemy that's attacking marriages. You hear me? That doesn't want to see good marriages happen. There's some of you, you got tenants who renting from you who don't want to pay. They don't want to pay the rent and they got the money and they're praying. But God will move them in the season to give you good tenants. You hear me? There's some people, because you've done this instruction, what the enemy been planning to do to you will not happen. The enemy will not be able to do what he wants to do to you. Because some of you, you know what I'm talking about. You need to do this quickly. Quickly, guys. Quickly. 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 And if you believe that I'm a prophet, to lock, to lock in what God is going to do to you, you sow a seed to the ministry. You sow a seed to the ministry. And you say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for what you're about to do. You don't even have to tell me. I already know. And you say, man of God, I'm going to sow my seed in an agreement to log this in. It's good to say amen and yes and thank you, but you must sow a seed as well as a sign of respect and to show that you mean something. See, a seed gets your, gets God's attention. That's like a 9 woman in the spirit. That's like a white cloth. Like, help, help, help. Like this. And so it gets God's attention in the spirit realm. See, listen, it's an SOS. My case is emergency. My case is a now. You know, I'm drowning. So when you lock it in with a seed, because we don't need your money. We just need your obedience. And there, there, there are some of you who will and some of you won't. But praise God. God is still able. Because I love you all. And no matter what, I want to see you do well. I don't see, I don't see people out here who become millionaires to be able to finance the kingdom. 
And those people out here become millionaires. And we've seen it happen. And God tested them with millions of dollars and they still messed it up. But God wanted to give them more. God is about to restore your marriage. Because there's another woman. I see another woman who's messing with your marriage. She's slick. She's slick. She coming there like she's just trying to help. She coming there like she just want, she just want to be assistance. She's smoother than butter. But she tried to take your marriage away. And, and, and the thing about it is your husband, he eyes so close. He only looking at the profits and money. But he ain't see the, he ain't see the shark behind the scene. He ain't see he about to get consumed. He ain't see the marriage about to be destroyed. Someone just say stop by for that seed. I don't know who it is, but they say stop by for the seed. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you already. God bless you. I see prophets Abigail Higgs on. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Good to see you as usual. Every time I prophesy something, they say, you know, my prophets tell me that too. <laughs> so we know that's on point. Amen. We know that's on point and God confirming the word. So we know that that's what the deal is. And um, she's doing, she's doing kingdom work. Amen. And so uh, I bless God for prophetess. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God confirms his word in the mother of two or three witnesses. Amen. And the prophetess says she want to sow. That's a, that's a blessing. Because she's a mighty woman of God. So if she want to sow, I, I go and get this right now because I know this anointed money. <laughs> the prophetess must sow. Mighty God. And she's a, she's a major prophetess. So we bless God for her. In the name of Jesus. I'll definitely contact you, woman of God. In the name of Jesus. And so I want to tell you guys this. God is blessing you in spite of what the enemy has to say. He's blessing you in spite of what the enemy wants to do. Amen. We've seen people who in this season they're starting businesses and they're, they're flourishing. In this season, they're starting businesses in what we call a pandemic or pandemic or scamdemic or lyris. And they are, ex they, they are experiencing tremendous breakthroughs and blessings. Because why? The mouth of the prophet has spoken it. See, prophets are God's mouthpiece. And a word from them could shift your destiny. And it might be like it, look like it's never going to happen in a million years. That's why the, 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 the enemy and the world hates prophets. If you're a prophet and you ain't going through something... I want to know who you who you serving because they can hate you. The people who you help in sometimes turns on you. You hear me? The very people who you love and you minister to go and drag your name to 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 the dirt and call you anything but a child of God. But see, that's part of the prophet's a mantle. If you are weak, you can't be a prophet or prophetess because they can talk about you. They can, they 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 can use the anointing on your life, and they can promise to bless you. They can get the blessings and then try to lie to the prophet, just like how Gehazi tried to lie to the man of God. Don't lie to the prophet. Because the prophet is here to help you. Yes, there are some prophets who, who are who what I call uh, they what I call false prophets that they come to milk the cows. Amen. My God, the tax don't stop. That's what the prophet is saying. She knows what I'm talking about because if you live in as a prophet and prophetess and you carry that mantle, it will come, guys. It's just part and parcel. All right, and you don't like it, but it's part of the job description. But God will see you through no matter what. He will take care of the problem. He will take care of the situation for you, and He will use you to bless God's people. You know, and that's what God's about to do. Yes, some things happen that we don't understand. We don't understand everything. We don't understand why certain things happen. But God will preserve his prophets in the midst of what's happening. God will take care of his prophets. And God will, just like how the cruiser oil was supplied, because this woman was obedient to the man of God. And she wasn't even an Israelite. She was, she was from a different country. She was Syrophoenician or Philistine or, or, or Greece or Greek. You hear me? But she obeyed the word of the Lord concerning the prophet. You hear me? She perceived there's something unusual about him. And it looked like it looked like he would take her money. If we were to do that right now, they'll say, Prophet comes to steal a woman's money with false prophecy and gifts. But you guess what happened? You be obedient. Be obedient, guys. Watch what God's going to do for you. I see a miracle house coming for a few of you. You've been trying to get a house for 10 years, and you can't seem to get this. You've been trying to get even vehicles. You can't even shift your vehicles. You've been trying. You even spend money out, and you've not got this. Let me tell you something. You get a special seed. You sow that in the good ground, whether it's myself or prophetess or whoever else. You sow it in the good ground. Watch what the Lord will do for you within the next 21 days. The next 21 days. This is a challenge to you. This is a challenge to you. God is about to shift your reality. God is about to cause you to swim when they wanted you to sink. Some of you, I saw where they wanted you to sink. Some of you, they already had you buried in coffins. Some of you got strange sickness in your body that don't want to leave. It goes and comes and comes and goes. There's some of you, the minute you get the money, it's eaten up. There's some people who are living around you that suck everything off of you. You make the money, but they have their money. They're saving their money up and they're sinking their money. 
They sink in the money and you pay out all the bills. That's not right. That's not right. And they know the situation and they pretending like they don't know. They got it. They got it, guys. They got it. You hear me? And God's, gonna, God's about to move them from around you. God's about to move them from around you. You hear me? Because all they're doing is they're causing the enemy to have an inroad into your life. Because all they're doing is they're taking, they they sinking their money, and they living and they pariahing off you, and they and they hoarding what they have. You hear me? And they know there's needs. They know there's needs. But they won't open up their bowels of compassion. God is about to shift that, guys. God is about to shift that. You see how you see how beautiful the ocean is out there? God ain't have no limitation. Look at the ocean. There's, is there any is there any is there any limitation on that ocean out there? Huh? There's no there's no limit on that ocean. Huh? Is, can you can you tell me where the sky ends and begins? No, sir. So why are the people of God not experiencing the overwhelming blessings and breakthrough that we're supposed to have? That's because there's certain things that is blessing that's blocking their blessings, uh -huh. and taking and stealing from them. Because God said, I want to bless my people above all things and that they should prosper and be in good health. Let me tell you something. I don't care how it look. I don't care how it look in this season. And if I be a prophet of God, you will see that God will bless you going in and coming out. God will bless you. He will bless the works of your hands. You hear me? He will bless the works of your hands and he will make sure that you are the one who, who will be able to supply the oil. God don't want you born from nobody. God don't even want you to own no banks. God don't even want you to own no mortgage or no home. You hear me? And just like I told you the story about this, about the gentleman who 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 was who was almost he's almost like a year behind in his mortgage, and his wife went to church not knowing nothing. She, as far as she concerned, he paid his mortgage off, but he didn't have it. He said the money just was eaten. You hear me? But I believe that God wanted to show him just who he is. That I don't need, I don't need your, I don't need your money that you have in the bank that you think is there. He allowed to get eaten up, and she went to church. And the man of God walked up to her and said, "Listen, I don't know if, if I'm hearing God right, but..." God said, so $5,000 in your hands. Someone, you can walk up into someone, hallelujah, at a service downtown, at a business place, in the market. And God had told them a long time to sow into your life, you know. But they were disobedient. Now God is going to cause that to come back around. Listen, when you guys sow the seed, let us be the seed for those who are supposed to sow and give into your life. All right? And not only that, with the interest and with the restoration that's coming. And they're going to come to you and say, listen, I'm sorry, man. You know, I, I was disobedient. You know, I just thought that this was too much money to give to you. I'm supposed to release, I'm supposed to release $30,000 in your hands. Don't tell me it can't happen because I've seen it happen. I've prayed for people and seen it release in two weeks, one week, three weeks. You hear me? When they follow the instruction. This woman, she never followed the instructions and she never got it. And I saw again and I asked her the food. So I said, woman of God, did you follow the instruction? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I said, listen, woman of God, listen, 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 listen. I said, just do it. It seems stupid, right? I said, it seems even crazy, right? Right? I said, this is for you. That's why you don't go tell everybody what the man of God say tell you do. I talk about stupid things and crazy things with, with people who just playing games and con artists and stuff like that. My track record is proven. The prophetess track record is proven. She's been around a long time. I've been along, around a long time. We have sown our seed. You hear me? You've tested us. You've tried us. You've seen the ministry have been, has, been, has, been, has been worth a seed. Amen? That's why you got to try people because every journey come lately, that don't mean that they can stick around. How many people you see have been there and then they're gone? Why? Because the word of the Lord didn't come to pass. All right? And they kept telling people this and start to borrow from people and start to borrow and start to borrow. And then they closed the ministry down. Guys, I'm telling you right now, right now, you're about to meet someone who's going to shift you. You hear me? And they've been told long time to bless you. They've been told long time to do this, but they've been disobedient, just like how Jonah was disobedient. You hear me? Now I'm about to tell you guys something that's very true, and I hope you don't get mad at me, but I can deliver it like how I see it. Many ministries in this season, because they're not telling the people of God what to do, they're going to be shut down. A lot of ministries are going to be shut down. A lot of, a lot of buildings are going to be up for sale. Okay? Because they didn't do what they're supposed to do to the people of God. As a matter of fact, they scoff at us who are on the street. They laugh at us. They look at us like we nothing. Alright? They look at us like we even ain't supposed to be around. But that's okay. God will get his, 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 his word out to his people if he have to raise up a stone. You just have to be available to God. You just have to be available to be used as a vessel. You better come from their seminary. You better come from their cemetery. Sorry, excuse me. You better come from their clique. But God said, I'm shutting them down. You can see plenty for sale signs. Plenty for sale signs. And I told you this. This ain't nothing new I'm telling you before, but I'm just reinforcing it again as the Spirit of the Lord is leading me. And God said, God said, what the enemy plan to do? Because I saw the blood coming up high on the land. I saw the demons in the sky with the big sickle and the big sword with the bat wings. But God said, I'll protect my people. If you follow the instruction. See, your instruction is your passport to safety. If those people didn't listen to what Moses told them to take the lamb 
and, and draw the bloodline over their doorposts, they would get consumed when the angel of the Lord came, the angel of death came. You understand me? You follow the instructions. You follow the instructions. God said, I'm going to supernaturally get your business out of death. You might say, but how does it happen? It ain't for you to know how to happen. You can't figure out the mind of God. Go to your ask your counsel. When did he ask you how, how far the sea go and how deep the sea is? Do you know how deep the sea is? Do you know how far heaven is? Huh? He laughed at you when you say you got your own plans, you know. God will laugh at you. Because the counsel of God will prevail. But what he wants in this season is your obedience. And how God speaks to you. He speaks to you through the mother of the prophet. That's why the enemy hates the prophet. Because he doesn't want the word of God to, to be sold. So he raised a false prophet to make every, one of you, make every one of the prophets look like they false. Why? So he could pollute the muddy water. So everybody turn off from the prophets now. I don't hear nothing from no prophet. All of y'all just alike. So what he does, he confuses the prophetic ministry. He confuses that. Your instruction is your passport and your pass key for your success and for your continued survival for you and your offspring. Amen? I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prosper, guys. Guys, you're about to prosper like never before. And I'm telling you this right now. There's many of you who need to recommit your life back to the Lord. And if you're not saved, if you're not giving your life to the Lord, this is the time now to say, God, I, for you I live and for you I die. I'm far away from you, but now I come back to you, Lord. I want to just worship you. I want to save you. Save my household. Save my son. Some of you are standing in the gap for your children. Your children aren't where they're supposed to be. And that ain't how you grow them up. Amen? And they are constrained and contrary right now because the enemy is trying to plant seeds so you can be frustrated with your children. But the Lord says, stand in the gap for your children. Stand in the gap for your seed. Amen? You cover them with the blood of Jesus Christ because the word is already in them. And if you need to recommit, if you need to recommit, you recommit to the Lord. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for the next day. Because the greatest, the greatest enemy against God and against people, the people of God, is procrastination. I can do tomorrow. I can do it next week. I can do this. Time. And you keep procrastinating. Guess what happened? Ten years later, you're still saying you can do it. People have gotten their blessings and got their breakthrough and they've gotten their houses and they've gotten their, 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 their vehicles and what have you. Because we need it. Let's, let's be real, guys. It ain't about cars, house, and vehicle. But at the end of the day, you need to live somewhere. You need to eat. You need to, you need to, get to be able to move around. And we're the king's kid. We own everything. If our dad owns everything, why are we living like paupers? Why are we fighting each other? Why is the world showing us how to live? And, and, and in spite of what's happening, we're supposed to be showing the world how to live. They're supposed to be coming to us and saying, man, listen, there's something so exciting about, about your life that I want this. Huh? Ex ex except the world now is now using our techniques, our, our, our uh, uh, anointing, our giftings, and they're prospering like never before. Guys, this is something wrong. We got to show the world that God is still in control. Amen? And he's still a God that sits up high. And looks down low. He makes ugly, but he don't like ugly. There's some of you been through some ugly things. There's some ugly things. And I see someone right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God's am breaking the, the spirit of witchcraft over you. Yes. The spirit of witchcraft that they try to put on you. Hallelujah. And they try to bind you up. And you know what I'm talking about because every time you go home, you see strange bugs in your house. And sometimes you see strange dirt before your door or around the place. And sometimes you find a strange pennies in your bed, strange pennies in your car, strange coins all about. And you know you didn't put them there, guys. I'm telling you right now, as I live and breathe, the Lord said, get that oil. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Someone is going to get set free today. And he's going to break this grip of poverty and lack of your life because you've been living in poverty. Some of your light has been off for a long time. Your life been off, your light and current been off for almost a year. Your light been off for almost a year. Your light been off for, for almost a year. And, and, and every time you get this money to turn your light on, it gets taken. It got stolen the last time from, from a family member. The other time, an emergency came up. The other time, something else happened. Because they want to see you punishing. They don't want to kill you. They don't want to punish you. That's what they're doing. They punish you in the spirit. They try to punish you and they're laughing at you. It's called, it's called eating your flesh and drinking your blood. They sift you. And then when they had enough fun, then they can come and try to coup. They can try to bring what they call the coup de gras. In other words, they can try to finish it off. But the Lord said, because you want this life today, and because you, you saw in your set me free seed and deliver me, O Lord, God is going to do something for you. Mighty miracle is coming for you. Don't let nobody cause you to lose your connection in the season, you know. Many people have lost their connection in the spirit because they listen to someone talking foolishness to them just because they want to disconnect them. All right? And you lost your connection. If you were the prophetess, then you stick with the prophetess. That, that's the one who speaks in your life. That's the one who prayed you all true. That's the one who got you with all this stuff. Then why are you leaving her? Why are you leaving him? Huh? What is wrong with you people? Stop jumping and skipping around the place with this bastard spirit. That's what it's been doing, you know. Every time you turn around, somebody's skipping somewhere else. Jumping somewhere else. One another word, another itchy ear word, itchy ear word, itchy ear, itchy ear. Come on, guys, time to grow up, time to mature now. Stick in. Some of you need to be praying for your prophets, your prophetess. Why? 
because they're being attacked at the highest level. Because if I could cut the head off, I got the victory. Don't you think the enemy knows that? So you got to lift them up. Don't pull them down. They're humans just like us. We're humans. We go through stuff. It's the time to band together, guys. Not against each other, but fight together. Amen? That's why the enemy has so much victory. He knows how to cause us to fight against each other. What's up, bro? He knows how to cause us to fight against each other. But let me say something. You stick together. Fight on one accord. Stay the course, guys. I want you guys to share this. Share it, share it, share it, share it. Share it. Share it. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. I want to pray. I'm getting ready to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bring everyone under the sound of my voice that's listening right now, God. Lord, you know they need better than I do. God, I didn't even plan this. This was spontaneous because I know the Holy Spirit speaks in spontaneity. So now, right now, for all of them who came on, who've been obedient, who are going to find a seed, I ask that you bless them, Father God. Not only with a blessing, but let them know an outstanding blessing. Let them know a mighty miracle that they've never seen before. God, break the yoke of captivity. Break the yoke of poverty. Break the yoke of lack. Break the yoke of backwardness. Break it, Lord. Break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it, Lord. Break it, Lord. God, I ask that you break it right now. Destroy it right now. I curse this foul thing at the root. I command it to fall to the ground. I cancel every single setback. God, every spirit of regression. Instead of going forward, you're going backwards. Instead of going to the next level, you're going down three levels lower. I bind this thing up in the realm of the spirit. And I decree and declare that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Every tongue that rises in judgment shall be condemned. I cancel it at the roots. We destroy the root. See, many people, they attack in this problem, but they ain't attacking the root. They got to attack the root. <laughs> Glory be to God. You got to attack the root. Amen. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. We got to attack this thing at the root, guys. Because if you don't get the root, the shoot will grow back. The leaves will grow back. Huh? So I want to see you guys successful. I want to see you guys living your best life. I want to see you guys raising up. Huh? Because this is your season. No devil on earth can steal your blessing. Huh? Because why? God is faithful. God is faithful, guys. He raised me up out of nothing. I know nothing. Been through hell and heartache. But God raised me up. Why? For such a time as this. If you guys can't go to a test, how you got the testimony? Huh? Thank God for people like my big cousin who raised me up. They raised me up, you know. They showed me the right way, man. My cousin them. They discipline me, you know. I respect them to the utmost. Thank God for my cousin. Cause say hi, man. Say hi to the people. Just yeah. say hi. Let them let see how we look. Yes, man. That's, yes, that's, man. That's, that's my yes, big cousin sir. right yes, there. Sir. Yes, sir. Love him to death, you know. Yeah. Yeah, he know I got a mission too. Yeah, man. You're on a mission. Yes. And then not only that, you know we never to show you no bad way. Amen. Never. Amen. Never always love. You. Always love and always peace and tranquility. Amen. Amen. And that's Amen. How you gotta live. That's how you gotta live. <laughs> Life easy like that. That's right. That's right. Easy. You see how handsome he is? Yeah. That's where I got my looks from. <laughs> God bless you, cuz. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I'm saying, guys, you see that? That's how we're supposed to live. One. One. Live as one. Be as one. Don't let nobody cause you to turn against your source. Huh? Live as one, guys. Our God is going to bless you. God's going to preserve you. God's going to make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> God bless you, woman of God. Guess what? This is how we rock. This is how we roll. Huh? They don't understand. As a Christian and as a man or woman of God, you can move in some ways that can baffle people's mind. They understand how you're moving. They understand how you're living. But God will supernaturally supply your need. One minute you could be in the Bahamas, next minute you could be in the state, next minute you could be in Europe. And they can say, well, how you get there? Because you could be moving by a supernatural transportation in the season. God will open the prison doors for you all. Some of you are in prison. You are in prison in your own home. You are in prison on the job. You are in prison where you are living. 
The whole neighborhood of you all bound up. But God said, I'm releasing and opening the prison doors today. And I'm breaking the yokes. I'm breaking the yokes. I'm breaking the yokes. I'm breaking the chains. I'm a chain breaker. I'm a chain buster. I'm breaking the yokes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You guys will see that God is in the midst. Amen. God has you in the palm of his hands. God have you right where he wants you. Thank you, Jesus. God said, I'm removing those generational curses that have caused you to stay in one position and in a spirit of almost there. You notice they have that spirit of almost there? You reach a certain place, then all of a sudden you have a strange dream and you're about to get a breakthrough. You're back to square one. You get a business, you open up the business, nobody come into your business. And you got best prices. You get the, the best tasting bread, if I may use an example. You got the best tasting hamburgers. And they ain't coming to you. What's wrong with that picture? Something is wrong. I erase every single demonic dose they put around your door. Everything you tread on that cause your foot to swell up. Everything that caused you to swell up. Some of you don't even know why you can't even lose weight. Some of you supposed to have been married, must be about 30 years ago. Every time the man get close to mind you, he change your mind at the last minute. That gotta be broken. That gotta be broken. That gotta be broken, guys. In the name of Jesus. You gotta be careful. In this season. Who you deal with. Be careful who you in your circle. Make sure they're there for a reason. And they ain't implants by the adversary. Ain't everybody come to you, really got your back, you know. And ain't everybody who with you for you. You remember how Jesus was preaching? And after Jesus said, you got to drink my blood and eat my flesh? They decided they didn't want nothing to do with him no more. And he said to the twelve, Will you leave me too? Will you leave me also? Huh? you got to test people to see where they are. you got to test them to see if they can be there. Use my armor bearer? Then what you doing putting a knife in my back? Use my armor bearer? What you doing telling confidential secrets that only you supposed to know and be praying me true for? How are you telling my secrets to other people? How you go down telling personal stuff because you see I'm human and now you see who I really is and, and my humanity and I've been real with you. You're not taking it as a sign of weakness. Listen, God, through Christ said, I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I feel discouraged. I'm depressed. Can you guys pray with me? Can you pray with me? This is the son of God, the creator of the universe, saying he, he tired. He tired. Huh? Why is he tired? Because he lived in a human vessel. He lived in a human vessel, guys. He lived in a human vessel. Come on, come on. Let's lift up our people. Let's honor them. Let's not throw them under the bush. Let's not throw them under the bush, guys. I want to say you all, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. God bless you. You can message me. Let me know what's going on. And uh, we keep you in prayer. We keep you in prayer. Because there's a lot I want to discuss with you guys, but I'll probably see you on Sunday, God's willing. Uh, may God continue to bless you and keep you and preserve you. Hallelujah. And may God continue to, uh, to fight your battles. Amen? Fight your battles in the season. Because there's no, there's no strength like our God. There's no strength like Jehovah. There's no strength like Jehovah. You hear me? Jehovah is the chief. And he sets down the rules. You see, we only flesh and blood. We only flesh and blood. We only flesh and blood. We come here to do a work, and we go home to glory. Make sure you finish, 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 finish good. A lot of people started off good. They started off good. But they ended up bad. Why? Because they didn't finish with God. They started getting their flesh. They started believing it's about them. Don't nobody calls you to miss God and hell wide open. Don't nobody calls you to bust hell wide open. You hear me? You do what is right in the sight of the Lord. And God bless you. Amen. God bless you. And God will preserve you. And God will keep you. Amen. God will keep you and God will preserve you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So I love you guys and I'll see you real soon. Amen. We're about to.